It was a notorious Alabama crime. 40 years ago, Judith Ann Neely was convicted of kidnapping, torturing, and murdering 13-year-old Lisa Ann Milliken. Today, her case went before the Alabama Board of Pardons and Paroles. Governor Ivey was among those urging the board to deny her release, which it did. WSFA 12 News anchor Rosanna Smith spoke with the victim's family. There is not a day that goes by that Tina Milliken and Carol Taylor don't think about their sister, Lisa Ann Milliken. If I want to talk to my sister, I have to go talk to Tombstone. And that's not right for any child, anybody to grow up without their a loved one. In 1982, Judith Ann Neely, along with her late husband, Alvin Howard Neely, abducted 13-year-old Lisa Ann from a Georgia mall and took her to a Scottsboro, Alabama motel, where she was raped, tortured, and murdered before her body was dumped in Little River Canyon. It scarred me. My sister didn't get to see sunlight and breathe fresh air anymore. Why should the person that took her life from us get to see Neely was convicted and sentenced to death, but her death sentence was commuted by Governor Fob James in 1999, setting the stage for her eventual parole eligibility. The fact that it's a travesty of justice that we're even having a parole hearing um, in this matter. Summer Summerford, district attorney for the Ninth Judicial Circuit, along with Milliken's family and friends, came to plead with the Alabama Board of Pardons and Paroles to keep Neely behind bars. After reviewing the case, they voted. Neely, it is the unanimous decision of the board that parole will be denied. Summerford says she's very grateful and thankful to the board for their decision. They made the right decision in denying her parole. So the very least the state can do is keep her in jail for the rest of her life. The board also unanimously voted to reconsider parole for Neely in five years. Milliken's family says they will be back then. They hope Neely continues to stay behind bars. Mark? Mm, an emotional case. A lot of people remember. Thank you so much, Rosanna. Voters in November approved an amendment that would require the governor to notify the state's attorney general and victim families prior to changing a death sentence to life in prison.